Cool. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. Uh -huh. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. Oh, oops. I interrupted the thing, apparently. Enter the backyard garden, huh? Let us do so. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Eat! Munch, 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 munch. Outy! Outy! I just got murdered. Wow. I suck. Please don't tell me I have to redo everything. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. If I have to fucking... I really hope I don't have to. Where the hell do I go? Here? What is that? Oh. Ouch! There we go. Okay then. Aha! Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Watery, sturdy blood sample. Okay then. Is this place abandoned? Because if so, cool. Oh, right, I forgot I could do that. A rogue skull. Oh shit, there's two of them. Jesus! Jesus! Fuck! Fuck! I just got chained into death. Damn it! Get off of me, please!
Yes! Ah, oh, you guys are like Frosties to me. I munch on you for breakfast, apparently. I, I have no idea where I was going with that. Find the lost wallet in the Garden. The Gardain. Shotgun shell, really? How very intriguing. I cannot enter. This is not the garden. Quarantine influenza, huh? Quarantine contagious disease. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of the local health authority and an authorized employee shall alter, destroy, or remove this card. Violating this regulation will be fined. What? Oh, I get it. Okay, shit. Things are missing from it. I wonder if Jonathan is immune to the... The, inf the, the, pl the plague or influenza or whatever the fuck. Because he's a vampire. That'd be... That would be interesting. Would it not? These are trash cans. There appears to be things inside of them. Okay. Right. I actually still need to find that fucking wallet in the garden. Um... What the hell does that mean? Oh. Okay, so I guess it's just when those things turn up that that weird noise plays. I'm fine with that, I suppose. Oh, hey, cool. Blood. Ph photo ph photography in a wallet. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Milton and Pippa forever. So, Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. Yes, indeed, they have. It's locked, all right. Can I, like, run? <laughs> Can I not accidentally waste blood? Huh. Oh, public notice. Prevent influenza. Spanish. Cover each cough with and sneeze with handkerchief. Walk to work. Do not spit. Drink from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If taken ill, go to bed and send for a doctor. To make a mask, take a piece of ordinary cheesecloth, 8 by 16 inches, fold it to make it 8 by 8 inches. Next, fold this to make it 8 by 4 inches. The cord's about 10 inches long at each corner. Uh, to apply over mouth and nose as shown in this- in the picture. How the fuck do you breathe then? I cannot enter. Alrighty then.
Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And you look like a fucking meth person. Your name has no person. meaning to me, mortal. What? You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. What I beg your pardon. hell are you what talking are you about? For, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. I don't believe you. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Okay. How are you? Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome? What is Cotard Never. syndrome? It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. Uh huh. The affected patients are delusional. Okay. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional. Uh huh. Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Who am delusional? I mean... This I'm voice actor is fucking great. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover. To hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. No. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Um, okay. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Garden near the morgue, huh? The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Okay, then. <laughs> Fucking... You're insane. <laughs> Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? Oh, God. What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Aha. Uh -huh. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Ah, alrighty then. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, then where? Where do I go to bring the wallet back to its owner?